It's just, it just dies. <sighs> no! Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is uh, Tarith and uh, I do insane content. I make insane content. Thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for watching uh, the first episode. Uh, I've got my sleep. I'm a lot more fresh now, and uh, hopefully we get a lot more interesting gameplay. So let's get started. One of the things that we needed to do was uh, the way forward. So he wants me to find the path to the Emperor's Road and the inland forest it leads to. So we gotta search the mud flats for the entrance to the submerged passage to progress. So as you guys can see here, it's up here by the mud flats, and we are currently in Lion's Eye. So what we can do is we can take this beautiful portal right here, this waypoint, and place ourselves on the coast, so we don't have to run all the way. Okay. And we gotta find the mud flats, which is right here. So it's uh, it's 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 pretty easy. It's pretty good. I'm trying some other recording settings this time around. So uh, if it looks a little bit different, uh, that's one of the reasons. Uh, hopefully it does look better. It looks good. Or it looks worthable, mana. worthable to watch, or whatever you guys say. Um, I heard that to play a summoner build because I think we'll be going for a summoner build. It's a. Uh, I heard it's a very strong build. But one of the things that that uh, I gotta pay attention to is to make sure that I get I get the correct uh, I get the correct uh, um, summoners or minions or whatever. So we want something called the Raging Spirit. Uh, very soon we should actually have it by now. I think I think actually I might have it uh, back in Lion's Eye. So that's one of the things that we're gonna check up on about. I've done a lot of digging in terms of. Uh, in terms of bills and what is good for a uh, and what is good for a witch, and I heard that that the uh, I heard the witch is incredible. The witch is incredible. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying not to talk a lot when these uh, when the dialogues when the dialogues are playing, or when the dialogues are playing because I want you guys to hear it. I want you guys to to kind of experience the story, but whenever I have to read something, I won't be I won't be reading it because I've I've done it a couple of times now. Uh, I read it before, and uh, I just want to get the game going, you know. So it's not too boring. But if there's any dialogue, guys, you, uh, if there's any dialogue in this game, you guys are gonna hear it for sure. That's uh, that's 100%. So don't be don't be uh, afraid that I'm gonna skip dialogue because if I find any, I'm not gonna skip it unless it's 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 just plain text without any voice acting. The zombies does decent damage. I wouldn't say that it's. I wouldn't say that it's very good, you know. It's pretty decent. It's not like wow, damage so far, but it's 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 also the first build, you know. So, all right. So let's. Oh, we can we can make a nice one here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna summon three new. I'm gonna take this right here. Also, I'm gonna take this on. I'm gonna make the best I can. And here we are. Let's get ready. Okay, so the zombies are doing pretty good damage, as you guys can see. Yeah, it does pretty good damage. It's, it is really good. It really is. Ooh, lots of good stuff here. Lots of very nice stuff here. Okay. Okay, so we got all three now. This is just... Killing for more XP. We need minion damage. Everything minion minion damage. Uh, we just need to stack minion damage as much as we can. Uh, and we need to see what the minion damage is, you know? So minion damage. We need to find out where minion damage is. There's some minion damage up here, I think. Here at minion. Minion damage right here. Uh, totem damage. We're not gonna do totems. All right. So one of the things that we need to do is we want to go, we want to go from here and we want to go all the way over to minion damage right here. And we want to fill this one out because minion damage is, is definitely what we're gonna go after. These episodes go spa like goes goes by so fast, man. It's crazy. It's already been seven, eight minutes now. Alright, so what we're gonna do is wanna go back to Lion's Eye. I might even make I don't know if I should make him longer. I think 15 minutes is a pretty good now middle ground, you know? Alright, so what we need now is summon Raging Spirit instead. 
and it's right here. It's very nice. I also want to show you guys my hideout, but I can do that in another video. Okay. How many raging spirits can I have? Wait, what? Okay. Okay, so they keep disappearing. Okay, so that's a, this is a little bit different to play with with the raging spirits. Scroll of wisdom, which I need for sure. Oh, here, here it is. Okay, uh, so I can create as many as I can. Okay, I can create as many as I will. They just disappear after a certain time. That's very, that's actually very good, you know. Oh, what is this? Okay. What? Corrupted? What does it mean when something is corrupted? Can somebody tell me that in chat? What something means when it's corrupted? Okay, so... Something's corrupted. Okay, these raging spirits are actually very good. If I could... If I could make him uh, kill faster, if, if I could uh, cast him faster, holy. And if they would last longer as well, holy. They kind of like have their own life, you know? Which is not very good. Okay, so we're going to the flooded depths now, which is the right path. That's very good. The damage is not bad either. Like, it's the only... It's the only weapon... Well, it's the only ability that I use. Is this one. Okay, so we do have... This one now. So we don't... Inside of here, there is no waypoint. The way you can see that is by the name. The end of the name, there's kind of this, like, blue circle. Nothing here. So what we need to do now is we need to go back. We need to go back. And you like that would just make life complicated. Oh really? Okay. Welcome. Thank you. So we could actually summon a phantasm as well on top of the so when one of my uh, when one of my raging spirits kills something, they have a chance to spawn a phantasm. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Gonna go all the way up to uh, this other beautiful, 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 beautiful thing. The phantasm and the phantasm actually, actually follows me, you know. So that's very nice. It's a very good. Ooh, this is. This is very exciting. This is very exciting. I can see the, the I can see the potential now. I, I'm starting to see the potential. This is very very nice. So it's, it's a very good build, you know. You, all you have to do is just spawn zombies, spawn uh, uh, spirits, whatever, and they'll just do the damage for you. It's very nice. I definitely see the potential. Summon a lot of these, and they just kill. Oh, look at this! Look at the damage. <laughs> it's very nice. So good. <laughs> Holy shit. And they keep on going. They keep on going. 
Scroll the wisdom, thank you. I need more mana. Keep spawning. Oh, here we go with the ledge. The ledge. This is very nice. Oh, level. Yes, yes, damage, damage, damage. Look at this. They just keep following me. Holy. So good. This is absolutely crazy. This is... This is crazy. So I can only have five Phantasm at once. Which is pretty okay, to be honest. It doesn't really matter. Because I just... You know, they just keep spawning. Whenever I use this other ability, they just keep spawning. Nice, nice, nice. Look at them, they just die, man. They just die. The earth of Rayclast rejects the dead. The black spirit of storm and dream now reaches into the ground and raises up our slain imperial fate. It leads the fallen from their graves and drives them to fight us beyond the end. Rotted tooth and jagged nail. Remembered have joined their cursed ranks. No longer may we give our beloved to the birds, messengers of spirit to the sky, conveyors of flesh to the earth. Khan has commanded us to destroy our remembered with axe and fire. Khan is the bravest of us, willing to bear the ire of the ancestors for the survival of his people. Fate smiles with sharp teeth. Amazing. Holy shit. Here comes the boss. It's dead as well. So fast it's dead. Look at that. Look at that. Scroll the wisdom again. We're gonna spawn the boss here as well. Always take these. Just gonna do the first ones, like always. Look at that, it's just it just dies, man. It's just it just dies. <gasps> no so <laughs> sudden <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. <gasps> Look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Let's move it here. I'm gonna move it here just just for reasons. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> is, guys, is this good? Like the resistances are so good as well. 14, 22 and 10. We need more resistance those, but it's it's so good right now. It's so good. This is so good. 
This is two legendaries on in one, guys, in one. I know for a fact that that flag up there doesn't uh, have any dialogue. Long sword. I need these uh, scroll of wisdoms so I can uh, examine stuff or whatever. Good day. Holy. Look at how fast it dies. Oh. Oh. Look at how. Holy sh... Much yes! Uh oh. The fawn. Ow, ow, ow! He does a lot of damage. And he died. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Prisoner's Gate. I've been playing for 30 minutes already? Holy shit. I'd rather burn than call such a place home. Well, guys... I think this might be a very good idea to stop this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share the video with everybody else. Thank you so much for everybody. Thank you so much everybody for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.